So I came out here tonight hoping to get lucky and see some cicadas emerging and we are lucky. There's one right here. There's a bunch of husks on this tree. There's another guy. He's way up here. He's way, way up there. But look at all the cicada husks on this tree. It's so cool. There's another guy down here. Oh man, look at him. He's just emerging out of his exoskeleton. How cool is that? There is also a bunch of snails on this tree. You can see one right here. They're tiny. Oh yeah, look at this guy. He is, it's super slow how they bust out, but he is busting out, man. He is like the Hulk of bugs. He is like cicada molting. Cicada will make lots of noise and breed. They emerge out of the ground every 13 to 17 years, depending on species and location. Oh man, look at him. He's, how cool is that? He's, he's busting out of his exoskeleton right now. We're getting to watch it. I've never seen this before. This is so cool. So he is just busting out of there. Oh man. It's hard to believe he was jammed into that little that little exoskeleton that he's breaking out of. Like he's gonna come out, he's gonna look just like the other guy with his wings and Oh man, this is so cool. He's got really cool colors on him too. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can make this a little... Oh, nope, didn't want to do that. Let's see if I can make this just a little bit better on the camera. <laughs> Nope, too bright-ish. Hmm. That was better the other way I had it. Come on, little Hulk. Get out of there. Subgator bust open! That's his eyes on the top of his head there. Oh man, this is so cool. Oh, he's pulsating. He's pulsating a little bit there. You can kind of see the back of the exoskeleton that is on the base of the trees getting empty. So he's pulling the rest of his body out. Oh, he's moving his head. Oh, this is so cool. Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted. Ah. Why did you do that, phone? Oh no! What am I doing? My my light turned off. I'm now just using my headlight. That's the uh, that's this thing that sits on my head. That is a uh, light. So I just have my focus in. Okay, well we're gonna have to do this. A little bit in the dark. I'm sure he likes it a little bit darker without that bright light on him. This is not a fast process. It's, he's like the Hulk, but real slow. Not all oh, crazy Hulk. He. That's why they don't have cicadas as an Avenger. They got Ant-Man. No Cicada Man. At least not that I know of.
He's so cool. He's working it. He's getting himself out of there. I'm sure that's a lot of work. And I imagine it's like trying to get out of a pair of jeans and you're all wet and the jeans are too tight because you were on a diet and you're like, you know what? One piece of cake ain't gonna hurt. And the next thing you know, you're eating half a buck of cookies and you're like, oh man, I've gained 25 pounds and my pants don't fit better anymore. This is kind of like the same thing. He spent a lot of time underground, hanging out, eating, growing, living his life. Now he's gonna emerge and probably live for the next four to six weeks, making noise, breeding. And then his babies will live underground for many years, probably. Depending on which species this is. Some species are 13 years, some are 17. I think it's like a prime number as they they go off of to try and have the best results, depending on how predators, predators are usually on a, an even number, uh, kind of survival, like a four, eight year cycle. So they kind of want to be off of that. That's why they emerge every 13 to 17 years. I know it sounds crazy that animals use math, but they don't know it, right? but you know, that's just the way it works. Us humans have figured out, you know, what math is. Sorry, I'm on my knees here. I'm just getting tired. And the ground's all wet. Oh, and I moved my hat. <laughs> Look at him, he's, he's out there. He's working his way out. What'll probably happen next is he'll work his arms out, grab on, to his exoskeleton, his little husk, and then pull the rest of his body out. And then he'll have wings. He didn't have wings before when he was in the ground, but he'll have wings now, like the one earlier in this video. And so he'll pull those wings out and we'll start, start getting Getting him fit to fly, and he'll start flying around. Get himself in a tree. Start calling, find himself a mate. I don't know if this is a male or a female. Not sure how you sex them. This is a lot of work and it takes a, quite a while to accomplish. Oh, his arms are almost down. Try and get a little bit of an above view here. What we're looking at here is, is his head and his belly. He just pushed himself out at an angle, as you can see, away from the tree. His arms are just starting to come out. I'm going to name you Little Hulk Jr. Because you're busting out. He's busting out. He's going to fly around. Make a whole bunch of noise all day long, trying to get a mate. And then he'll lay some eggs and up go on the ground. Stay there for many years. Then they'll come out and they'll climb up a tree. Molt on out, as you can see. His arms are almost out. His arms are almost out. Man, that is so cool, man. Look at him, he's got, are those his wings off to the side? Oh, what's he look like underneath? That's, that's his back we're looking at. Oh yeah, those are his wings off to the, off to the sides there. Those are his wings folded up. Man. I 
I hope you guys like this as much as I like this. This is the coolest thing I've seen all day. Hope this is the coolest thing you've seen all day too. Maybe even a week. This is probably the coolest thing I've seen all week. I've been seeing these cicada husks here for days now and I've always wanted to see a cicada emerge. Oh man. See, he's using his arms now. He's moving his arms a little bit so he can get fluid into them. Oh, sorry. Moving his little arms. Moving his little Hulk arms. Once he gets, yeah, see, he's, he's moving them so he gets fluids and stuff into them. So cool looking, man. Now he's a cicadas are insects, so he's got six pairs of legs there. Looks like he's got at least four of them out. He is starting to move the other legs. This has to be a weird thing as well. He's been on the ground all his life. He's never, I don't think they've ever come out of the ground. I think they spent all their time in the ground. So he's come out of the ground for the first time. He's climbed up this tree. Now he's busting out of his exoskeleton and he's he's hanging out real, real far out away from the tree. This is, you know, it's, I mean, he's not that high up off the, off the ground, maybe, maybe three feet, but still for a person that would be like, you know, climbing up the side of the Empire State Building and then suddenly like, oh, let me change my clothes and you're hanging by by essentially your butt like this is this is butts in the exoskeleton it's like just just pants he's there you, you you got your shirt and your gloves hooked on and your pants and you're just trying to squeeze out all weird I guess you really can't relate this to people at all, but That noise in the background is cars are driving by because I'm right next to a road. I'm on the edge of a golf course. Country club. He's moving the other leg. Come on. Focus in there. There we go. There we go. I don't know what happened to the other light. Man, yeah, he's just just holding in there by his butt. You can see right into it. The Mexico skeleton home. Man, he is. He's really coming out there.
Come on, Hulk Jr. His wings are out more. Just rotating legs there. He's moving all his legs now. He's got all six of them out. He's literally just hanging in there by the end of his butt. Now he's got all six legs out, and he's got them all moving. At least the front four are well, well developed there, and the back two got a little bit of movement in them. You can see him wiggling them just a little bit, trying to get, trying to get fluid into them, getting them working and using them. The other thing too is he's super soft right now. And so he'll have to come out, get his wings unfolded and pumping and working and he'll have to have to wait a little bit to to harden up. He can't just go out flying when he's soft. Because if he's soft and crashes into things, he'll hurt himself. He's got some 
it's hard to see in the video. I know the light is terrible. He has really got some cool, cool color. Oh man, that's, let's see, I gotta tilt my head. He's too, what am I doing? He's too far crowned. He's on such a curve, I can't really get underneath him. But when he, he grabs on, we can see his back. He's gonna have to pull himself up. Come on, little Hulk Jr. Come on, little Hulk Jr. There's another little bug on the tree. Probably thousands of bugs on this tree. Now I wonder why this guy didn't crawl up that high. There's many on here that are well above my head, 10, 12 feet up this tree. There's something touching my leg. Set. Is that? There is. There are cockroaches on the ground here, and they're trying to crawl up my legs. That is. That is gross. He's moving his legs. Yeah, little Hulk Jr., you worked those legs. You have to do a heck of a pull up here soon. I hope. I knew this process took some time. I didn't realize it took this long. Oh, he's got, he's got one wing down. Oh, one wing has unfrailed. That's cool, the other one should unfrail here as well. Good job, little Hulk Jr.
You are making some progress. Got one wing down, gonna get another wing down, gotta get another wing down. It's starting, you can see it. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's real slow. See it? See it opening up? Oh man, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. <gasps> look at it open. Oh man. <gasps> How amazing is that? Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Look at how that is opening. Oh, and he's moving his wings. He's getting fluid into them. So that way he'll be able to flap them around. Oh man. That is so cool. From this angle, he kind of looks like a frog. Oh man, look how cool that is, wings. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing one hell of a crunch. Oh man. Come on, little Hulk Jr. Oh, this is so cool. I know, buddy, you're almost there. You're almost there. Oh, he's moving his legs. He's moving his legs. His wings are coming down. Oh man, this is so cool. This is just totally awesome. How, oh man. Come on, crunch it. Use those abs. Bugs don't have abs. Man, he's doing it. He's he's crunching it. He got that other wing almost fully extended out. Yeah, yeah. Man, look at him lose his arms. It's crunch time! Little Hulk Jr. pull himself up. Crunch time. Oh, this is so cool. Here he is. You can see him starting to grab on. He's grabbing onto his exoskeleton. Oh man. Oh my goodness. He's doing it. He's doing it. Yeah, you do it, little man. You get it. Yeah, oh, he's blowing himself out. He's gonna do it. He's blowing himself out. This is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, he did it. Oh my goodness. Little Hulk Jr., you did it. Oh, you successfully molted. You've probably been under the ground for many, many years. And now you've emerged a very beautiful cicada. Good job, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it. You are such a cool little bug. Oh, man. In the back of his little rump there, that'll fill up with the rest of his fluids. He will, he will be stretching and moving his wings around and getting fluid into them and get ready to, to fly on and start calling, find a mate, have some little baby cicadas, and uh, keep the species going. Oh man. Thanks so much, Little Hulk Jr. This has been wonderful. I've appreciated it. 
And thanks everybody who stayed and watched all the way to the end here. Now he'll probably, if he's if he's anything like butterflies, he'll hang out for a while, getting getting fluid into his wings, and then he'll zip on out of here. Let's see if that other guy is still up here. Yeah, he's he's still up. Here. Oh, my light is. He's still up here too. So it takes a long time for them to get ready and go. So we'll say our final goodbye. A little old junior here. All right, little old junior. Have a great night. Thank you, and have a wonderful life. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time.